What's up everybody? Welcome back to Ingenuity. This week it's going to be kind of a weird week because we have just been getting riddled <laughs> with thunderstorms and we lose power seems like every other hour at this point. So I don't know how much progress we're going to make with the plan of attack is we're going to tear down the front end of the car, get that completely stripped because we're on to the phase where we're going to start getting this roll cage together. So, um, yeah, we're going to rip down the front end of the car, get that cleaned up. Um, and then uh, we're going to start test fitting the cage and we'll see how far we get before uh, Mother Nature tells us we can't. So without further ado, let's get to it. Thing about ripping interiors out and get the sound, the sound editing stuff. Um, when you dump your heater box full of coal on the floor, it sucks it up pretty well. No. Oh, it's so rotted. <laughs> oh boy. More stuff to fix. Right, let's get our cutters. So, got the inside stripped down. Um, the uh, the the matting up there. Uh, I still have to take that out, but it's not really important at the moment because the main thing that we need to worry about is where um, where these corners are, um, or is where the bars are going to come down for the cage. Uh, so we just need to make sure we have clearance for everything there, and we're also going to need to notch the middle to some degree to mimic uh, the rear bars that we made uh, for the front to fit the front end of your cradle. And up front, nothing terribly exciting, but we're all stripped up here as well. So uh, the only thing left to do up here uh, is to take the cowl off the wipers and uh, get the windshield out. Uh, I'll probably take the hood off on that just to make life easier. Um, but yeah, that's what we got so far.
Come on, really? Dum dum. I didn't even know maybe they hated me. <laughs> Put the dum dum. That's gross. Not sure if you guys can hear that on camera. <laughs> it is like booming thunder outside. Now we got the windshield out. Uh, now we can start uh, mocking up the cage. Now the halo in the top is not gonna lie, it's super, <laughs> it's super awkward to do by yourself. But I think if I run ratchet straps uh, around the roof, I think that'll hold it in place at least enough to kind of get an idea where we need to start marking things and cutting things and grinding things and then welding things. So anyway, that is what we're gonna get going and getting pretty bad out there so hopefully we have life for a little bit longer and power so let's get to it Okay, so uh, we got this hung up here. It's not exactly where it's gonna live, but it's close enough for a mock-up. So then we got our main hoop. That's gonna slide up right there. So now we know the rough, rough depth that we set these at. Now, the variable that we have is our, um, the A pillar bars, and I'll show you what I'm talking about there. All right, so the A-pillar bar tucks in like that. Um, it'll obviously get notched and then run down the A-pillar and then terminate down there. All right, and so what the hell is the point of me even showing you that? Well, I just wanted to show you. So this is a um, JEGS prefab cage. It's actually built for Civic. It's not even meant for a CRX. But I just kind of wanted to show you a quick fit and finish because I like to check these things before I actually get them installed in the car. Um, like I said, it's not even meant for this car, so it will have to be modified. But again, the point of me showing you this right now is to uh, show the kind of uh, rough fit so we know where to mark it. 
um, and, and kind of get make sure that all these components will in fact work before we get to the point of cutting and grinding and rendering these things uh, unusable at that point because they've been notched too far, cut too far, and you really don't want to be trying to fill gaps on a kid that doesn't uh, doesn't bode well for its strength. And on that note, I am going to call it a night. It's getting pretty hot and gross out here, and uh, it's storming pretty bad outside. And I feel like we're going to lose power any second. So maybe this is me getting old and arthritic. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I really do appreciate it. Just remember, on projects like these, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.